One ordinary day in May, three goddesses from heaven appeared at the door of a likable young college student. The goddesses use their many powers to help people find happiness. And sometimes, for a lark, they would make themselves small. This is their story. Is it inevitable that the Earth is going to now come to an end? I sure hope not. Here it comes. Huh? Marla, and as a sorceress with a first-class license and no restrictions, I've come to destroy the Earth. If only our white-haired friend were here. Huh? Hmm? Not so fast there, you evildoer. You came, our heroine! She's gonna save the day! Our big sister! You annoying pest! Hear me call great atmosphere! Gather the spirits of air and fire! Roar forward! Cry, demon! You did it! That was great, Earth! Oh, thank you. You saved us. Oh, it was a snap. It just comes naturally to me. <laughs> Jeez, look at that. That's some kind of grandiose, self-gratifying dream she's having. <laughs> What's this contraption? <laughs> It's another one of my neato inventions. I call him Mr. Dream TV. It allows people to view your dreams on a monitor. Wow, that is like so cool. Huh? So does that mean that you were spying in on all of my dreams, you peeping pervert? Now calm down. Oh, brother, he's actually sleeping in his dreams. This is boring. Let's try something fun. Yeah, let's mess with his head. Gan Chang, would you please wake up? Yes, Bell Dandy? I'm sorry to wake you from your sleep, but there's something I've been wanting to tell you for a long time now. Well, why don't you just tell me? I love you. <laughs> Do you really love me? Yes, I do. You're my one and only true love. I mean it. Ganchan, I give you my heart. Yeah! <laughs> More drama, please! But there's only one complication. Uh, and that would be? Well, it's your emotions. Mine? I couldn't stand to bear it if you were in love with someone else. What would I do? You're the only one I love. I can't help but think about you all the time, Bell Dandy. What about school? Who, that brat always playing with dumb toys? She's the type of person that'll spend her whole life waiting around for Prince Charming and then end up becoming a mistress. <laughs> Not a rat's chance, although there is a possibility that she does have the hots for me, you know. But I would never, ever go out with a girl like her. No matter how jealous they were, I wouldn't accept it. I'd fight them off if they tried to break up our love. I'd beat them black and blue. I'd do it for the glory of love. Yeah? <laughs> Did I dream that? Wow, that dream was really something else. I finally stood up for my love and even threatened to beat up Erd and scold. 
Yeah, right, like that would ever happen. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't be so sure about that. I can't believe you really would have broken my heart, Gonchon. Let's give Big Sister a try, huh? I wonder what she could be dreaming about. About making us some dinner and brewing tea. She seems to be having a very feminine dream. Wouldn't that be wild if she was dreaming of sleeping just like Gonchon? No way! Yeah, Bell Dandy would never do something like that. Oh, here it is! Huh? Ah! <laughs> 